You were telling the truth. You don't know anything about handguns. You must be bloody mad. How could I die to fight there? Oh, it's not so easy to die. You should have taken that job I offered you. You would have been lying in the sun now, on a beach with some pretty girl. That wasn't you, that was Professor. You shouldn't get drunk either. Another piece of good advice. It makes your tongue wine. Primo told me I shouldn't whine. Everybody wants to give me good advice. Primo? <sighs> I don't even know his real name. So what the driver at the removal firm called him because he's so big. Primo Carnera. How splendid. Like calling your landlady Jackie because she's a Mrs. Kennedy. Isn't it the same kind of joke? This has nothing to do with me. Just let me out here and I'll forget all about it. That's all I want to do. What an uncomplicated young man. You make yourself sound. Poor Primo. Do you know who that is? Sir Colin. So it is. And how do you feel about him? Well? My father likes him. Your father? Of course. One of the gentry, one of us, a true borderer running the country. Well loved be all. Well hated by some. Take your stick. Still mine. I mean, it doesn't matter. Of course it doesn't. I'm making you a present of it. One more thing. Primo, a foolish nickname, I know. But if you heard his real name, it would make you think of echoes of swinging kilts and dawn trumpets at Kandahar. Oh, yes. A Scottish soldier. You're a junkie. When I was your age, I was fighting in the desert. You know what Montgomery said? Said about us. Montgomery was a general, but you'll no know that. He said, you can't beat the Scots in a killing match. He, he wasn't wrong either. It's something to do with pride. You know what I mean? Muldoon? Was that you hammering at the door? What are you doing here? Don't do that. I thought it was funny that window being open. Shut the curtain. Do it. You don't know who's out there. What are you doing here anyway? Eh? Where's... Oh, you're not shagging Margaret, are you? You and Margaret try to make little Muldoons. You've got a dirty mouth. I've never let you for that. The girl Patrick sent for you. Is that it? You're looking a bad way. I can take care of myself. Maybe it's true Peter called Patrick asked me to collect something for him. Something he gave the girl. God. You're just a stupid boy. Uh, maybe. But I've seen inside the parcel. 
You shouldn't have opened it. It wasn't meant for you. There was a gun inside and a towel with blood on it. Where is it now? You can tell Kilpatrick Brond has it. Brond? There's someone I can ask to find out if you're telling the truth. Kilpatrick? Has he shot somebody? Has he killed somebody? Is that what it is? Should give your imagination a rest. You're too old for fairy stories. You don't know how tired I am. Either you tell me what's happening or I'm going to beat the shit out of you. There's no need for that. Listen. Peter will explain. Kilpatrick's here. In the bedroom. You know, with the girl. I'll get them. Then I'll be hasty, Mr. Brody. Let me guess. You're a friend of Margaret. Where is she? Well, you know about the party last night? Terrific wee party, really nice. No nonsense, nothing like that. Just a, a party with records and, and drinks, you know, soft drinks. And then, of course, it got late and I've got this bother with my foot. You know, I injured my foot. At the party? No. No, to be honest with you. Be honest with me. It happened when I was shifting a wardrobe <laughs> a while ago. But of course, somebody stood in it last night, you know, and Margaret said, well, you're no fit state to walk home. My parents are away. She said, why don't you sleep in their bed? No, in my bed. She said, why don't you sleep in my bed and I'll sleep in their bed? She's in bed, is she? No, no, certainly not. No, she's away to... She's away ages ago. And now you're away too. Don't let me stop you. Get in. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I'm offering you a lift. Get in. On the window. Watching you crippling your way down the road, I thought, that boy really does have a bad foot. I'm gonna give him a run home. But after all, I'm on holiday. I've nothing else to do. Aye. She's a tidy girl, Margaret. The day you were having this party last night, and here there's not an unwashed glass or an empty crisp bag the length and breadth of the place. She'll have tidied up before she went out, eh? You could let me out anywhere about here. Ah, what is it? The next corner. I'll run you there. Mr. Broidy, believe me, Margaret and I haven't... I wouldn't. Well, she wouldn't. I've got nothing but respect for your daughter. My daughter? <laughs> You know Margaret's father. I'm Liam, the older brother, the boy from the bogs. <laughs> Wait till I tell the wife about this. She won't believe. In the name of God, 
You know who that is? It's the guy that owns the digs I'm in. His name's Kennedy. Get out. Your friend was in a hurry. Who is he? No idea. I was at a party last night. He gave us a lift home. Now where would that be then? Don't know. A friend took us in his car. He'd done well with a lift. Come on then. Come on. Sign. You can sit down, can you not? I don't want a drink. Sit down. Just get us. Uh, Only good thing the Irish ever made, eh? Put that on the floor, it's a filthy habit. Yeah, there's nourishment in that. You gotta live off that. Let no man live off that. Is Muldoon in? You ought to drink that properly. Get it down here, leave it alone. Maybe he's disappeared like that fella Kilpatrick has. You wouldn't have an idea where he's at? No. That's right. You're not a friend of his. Never have been. Isn't that what I was saying? Comes here, treats it like his own house. And he went off. That's the end of it. Jackie looked in his room. Her name's Val. Sorry. Does he owe some rent? Didn't even take his toothbrush. Ah, uh, there are more important things in life than washing your teeth. Well, thanks for the drink. <coughs> See that girl that came here? One Val told me about. She's got an RC kind of a name. You want to be careful before you do anything more in that direction. What does that mean? Mean? Means I've seen many's a good man ruined by a hasty marriage. Sure, what else would I mean? Hey, where the hell did you get to, you bastard? Do you think I'm just going to let you walk out and disappear this time? <laughs> if only it was that easy. You're not leaving it to you tell me what's going on. You're in more trouble than you know. If ever I'm in trouble, Muldoon and you're around, don't you? Know, unless you want your jaw broken. You're a right bastard. Probably. But the thing is, I think we're both in trouble. I think we should go to the police, but I don't want to go by myself. Why don't you help me? I'll think about it. I'll wait till tonight. But either way, I'm going to the police. No, you were in. Do you mind getting off the bed and letting me change the bed linen? You're not a foot fetishist, are you? What? I thought you might be sneaking in for a quick sniff at my socks. Who would I want to do that for? Oh God, it was a joke. My mistake. Did you be arrogant little bugger? When you came in here a year ago, you didn't even know which spoon to eat your soup with. Oh, Jackie, that's a bit heavy. And now you're a man about town and open bloody dictionary. I thought you didn't like swim. What's the matter with you? You're as bad as him downstairs. Sitting down there drinking and smoking, the way he's behaving, you'd think he's an Irishman. Do you think you can say anything you like to me? It's just that... You've got more life in your wee finger than he's got in his whole body. That's why I wouldn't blame you. What do you know? What do you know about him or about me? It's very easy to get the wrong idea about him. First time I ever saw him. Wasn't much older than you are now. He must have been. Can't imagine him ever being young. There was this huge rock stood out in the sea at one end of our beach. This crowd of young fellas all daring one another to dive off it. Of course, none of them would do it because it was so high. He'd been listening to them, but he'd been looking over at me. He got up and gave me a wink. <laughs> I 
thought the world had stopped when he dived off that rock. You sure you're not making it up? He was there all summer long until he had me married. Think it doesn't seem like a dream to me now? Of course, at your age you know everything, don't you? I'll tell you this, the state he's getting into down there, it wouldn't be much good for high diving now. I don't think you know him. I mean, after the baby died, things changed and became different. Only there was one night we went out to the pictures and then onto this cafe. We hadn't been out for a long time. And there's this crowd of young fellas, four of them. We've been drinking, looking for trouble. They said something about me and he got up, went over to them. And something happened. I don't know whether he just said something or looked at them. He came back, sat down with his back to them and started talking to me again. Almost as if he'd hoped I wouldn't notice what he'd done. The four of them just got up, went out, terrified. I remember then I'd started off being afraid of him. Hey, you! Get down off that before you fall and hurt yourself. Stupid children. <laughs> 